Hi, this is Shay with Trucks of Sales here today doing a comparison video on the set forward front axle versus set back front axle. So I got a few brand new trucks here with me. I have a 2020 Peterbilt 567. This is actually the short hood right here with the set back front axle and I have a 2020 Peterbilt 5 67 with the set forward front axle and that's the longer hood one and I have a Kenworth T800 here so go ahead and pop the hood on all these all right we'll go ahead and look at this seven axle dump truck first so we got the wheels turned all the way so there's a little stopper on these um, and as you can see it's not close at all to hitting that bar. Right now it could go in a tiny bit more, um, but they're basically all about the same exact wheel cut right now. But you should be able to adjust this setback wheel to cut even sharper. But it looks like from the factory here, they're adjusted all about the same. And then these are not turned in as much as they can go. Um, and then also, as you can see, this is 315s, so those are kind of out away from the frame, where once you get this big old 425 on there, you can see how this starts ending up closer. So these tires probably turn in about two more inches. We'll go ahead and get out the measuring tape and show some frame measurements so you can see the difference between the axles, and we'll show you that adjustment nut as well. Tires approximately 14 inches away from the frame and like I said could probably go another couple inches on that and this one's probably about 13 inches is what it looks like and it could go a little bit more just shutting off the trucks the tires kind of pull away a little bit and then since we got the 425 on this one it is a decent amount closer to the frame and looks like we got about nine inches on this one. So as you can see, the inside of this tire, the rim is outside of that brake drum, probably about two and a half, three inches, where if we come over to the 315 style rim, it's inside of the brake drum a couple inches there. So there's definitely some room to adjust these to get a closer, a little bit tighter wheel cut. So you can see on these particular trucks that we have here, they all have a similar wheel cut. This does vary between truck models, including the Peterbilt 388, 389. Those have different steering setups, as well as the Freightliner and International. All of them have different steering setups. But you can see the tire size also plays a factor um, but a lot of these trucks from the factory just come adjusted a particular way. But with that adjustment nut, you can get the tire closer to the steering bar so you can have a closer wheel cut. And on this long 288 wheelbase truck, you can see having the maximum wheel cut is important. This is Shea with Trucks of Sales. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website and give us a call for more information. Thank you.